I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. We saw a beat down on shares of Bombardier today as investors are growing increasingly impatient with the company's ongoing restructuring efforts. Bombardier in its quarterly earnings update today said they're going to have to spend upwards of $300 million U.S. to ramp up production to meet delivery timelines to uh, get subways and streetcars delivered to customers on time. This is an ongoing, has been an ongoing problem for Bombardier, getting products to uh, contract delivery schedules, whether that was with Metrolinx or the TTC in the past. They are also ongoing restructuring efforts at the aerospace operations. They've been selling their commercial aircraft divisions and uh, focusing now on business jets. The share price today dropping by, at one point, almost 18% and is now below break-even for the year on Bay Street. Well, Beyond Meat needs some cash to fund its expansion. The popularity of plant-based protein products offered by Beyond Meat has the company growing rapidly, so they're looking to raise another half billion dollars in a stock sale on the open market. They're going to offer the shares at $160. That's a big discount to where the shares have recently traded, but way up from the initial stock sale just two and a half months ago at $16 per share. This as uh, Beyond Meat continues to see impressive growth, but now has to grow to meet that demand. Meantime, Burger King announced today it is expanding its business relationship with Impossible Foods, which has the Impossible Burger, also plant-based protein. They're going to offer up the Impossible Whopper at 7,000 U.S. locations. And the uh, Burger King brand is owned by Restaurant Brands International, which also operates Tim Hortons, which interestingly enough has a business partnership with Beyond Meat and Fitbit Flops, the company which has wearable uh, health devices, has saw its sales and profit drop. The stock at an all-time low today. Big questions being raised whether Fitbit can compete going forward effectively against others in the market, including the Apple Watch. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.